family and friends and fellow YouTubers, it's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner. And today I have my grandson, who is Jeffrey, Jeffrey six. and he is six. And Jeffrey and I are going to make a dessert today. It's called banana pudding, and it's very simple. And uh, I like to have my grandkids help me cook whenever possible because it's just an excellent learning experience and it helps with things like reading. Like, Jeffrey, can you read to me what that says right there? Two cups cold milk. All right. So we're going to put the box, we're going to open up the boxes and dump it into this bowl. And then we're going to add two cups of cold milk. Now I have a question for you, Jeffrey, real quick. If we have to have two cups of cold milk for this one and two cups of cold milk for this one, how many cups of cold milk are we going to have to have all together? Um, four. That's right. Very good. Very good. All right, so you go ahead and open up the boxes and dump the packages in there. And I'll get out the milk here. Grandma measured it out because I wanted to make sure we were going to have enough before I actually started this. And we did. We barely had enough milk. Okay. You know how to open those. Just here and tear that top off right up there. Yep, hold it over the bowl though. There you go. Alright. Yeah, there you go. I knew you'd get it figured out. They're both white. Yes, they are. That's right. They have a banana flavoring to them, though. It These smell are banana, like banana flavor. Yeah, they do smell like banana, don't they? All right, so we needed how many cups of milk altogether? Two. Two for each box, which makes four. Four. All right, this is a one cupper, so hold that over the bowl and I'll pour for you. Whoops. I wanted to do a good, very good job either. Okay, so how many is that? One. One. Good. Grandma's always kind of been a messy cook, hasn't she? Two. Three. Good job. All right, so I'll put these back here. Now, the next thing we need to do. Um, okay. okay. Oh, folks, and I am also spending the night thing tonight, and it's Saturday. Yeah, he's very excited about spending yeah. the night. To Sunday. Only to Sunday. Yeah. I'm staying here for two days. Can you uh, go ahead and stir that up just a little bit to get it like pre-mixed before we turn the blender on? Grandma, clean up her mess while you're doing that. All right, good. All right, I'm let Grandma get her glasses on. Let's so see how long we have to beat this for. All right, so now it says. You know what that word is? Bat. Bat. Close. It's got a long E. What does long E say? E. Right, so to read it again. Beet. Beet, right. Beet, pudding mix, and milk with whisk for two minutes. Okay, so that means you're going to put this in on one and you're gonna uh, have it on there for two minutes. Sometimes do that. Okay, now get up on your knees so you can reach it better. There you go, all the way up. Okay, and on the one, just the low.
five minutes so we're going to put it in the refrigerator for five minutes and then while we're waiting for this to get soft set we're going to do something else okay all right so into the refrigerator with this all right so in these pans do you know what we're going to do here no we're going to put vanilla wafers on the bottom okay so here are the vanilla wafers can you line those up on the bottom? Do this bowl over here. Mine's only five long, long on the top. That's right. Five across. So let's see how far we go down. I've got two down. No, I've got two down. No, I've got four down. Now I've got five down. Okay. I could only fit five. Okay, so five across and five down? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take a bite of this small one. Okay. Yeah, you can have the small one. This tastes like banana bread. Yeah, a little bit. Your oh, got to fill in some more of hers there. Almost got hers all done. Fill in the middle. Good job. Now, you and Grandma are going to do some math here. You are really good at math. So, the first thing we're going to do, one more cracker to do this math problem. There we go. All right. So, you have five going across and five going down. Now, we can do a math problem called multiplication. You're only in kindergarten, so this is going to be new for you. But we can figure out what five times five is. Five sets of five. That's multiplication, okay? Okay, so yes, yeah, so now we're gonna do a multiplication problem called five times five. It's where you have five sets of five, okay? And, uh, but one way you can do that is by counting by fives. You know how to count by fives, yeah. don't you? How do you count by fives? Five, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 55, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Good. All right. But we're not going to have to go that far. Yeah. All right. So we're going to count by fives so and we're going to go down each row. You ready? I'm going to count. Okay. I'm going to count. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right, so five times five is, what did you just 25. Say? 25, that's right. Five times five is 25, and we did that by counting by fives, didn't we? Okay. 10 is, 10, I don't know, is, by counting by tens, I think it's faster than counting by fives. Yes, we could count by tens. We could do that. Okay, you count by tens and I'll point. Ready? 10, 20, but 30. 
But do you have 10 here? No. You only have 5. All right, so we're going to go 10, 10 20, 20, and then? No. 10. 10, 10, 20. Five. Right, good. 10, tw 10 20, 25. That's, that's, that's yeah. weird to count. That's yeah, but, but we did it, didn't we? So we yeah. counted by fives, we counted by tens, <coughs> and we learned a little bit about multiplication. So, all right. All right, so we have that done. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a banana slice on top yes. of each one. Okay. So go ahead and cut the banana. Cut the banana and put a slice on top of each one. I've cut it. A, I've made a cake before. Yes, I know you do a lot of baking with your mom, don't you? No, I mean I made a cake at Grandma Kim's at at Grandpa at, at Grandma Jean. Yes, Grandma Jean is a good cook too. Yes, um, I know I've Grandma got a bad Jean, piece. and I know that she does. I've got a, lot a bad of piece. Okay, cut the bad piece off. There you go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put mine in there, and you put yours in there. It's okay if they don't stay right on top. You'll want to get them a little bit thinner than that, though. Those up a little bit smaller. See how grand what size grandmas are? Yeah, they're called we need slices instead of chunks. Like yes, there you go. Yeah. Not into two. It's okay. It's okay. It's alright if they break in half. We just have to um get them a little bit smaller. Look how small this chunk is. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you can make chunks. Just small chunks. This is so hard. Uh, I can't gonna, even cut this chunk. Here, if you pick, watch grandma. Pick it up like that. Take your knife and slide it through. Can you try that? That's it. There you go. Like a yeah, saw. Yeah, like a saw. Uh-huh. Gosh, don't know. Here, I'll let you do that one. Saw that one up. You want me to do it? Yeah. Okay, well, you did a good job trying. Thank you for trying. All right, now you know what the next trick is? I'm going to get you a napkin so you can wipe your hand off. There you go. I'm going to put the bananas here. All right. Now, what do you think we need to do next? What do you think we're going to pour on top of that? Or, I don't know. Well, what did we just make? What's in the refrigerator? Uh, we, have, we have vanilla wafers and we have bananas. And now we're going to put something on top of this. What do you think we're going to put on top of I that? I forgot. Well, aren't we going to pour put this into there. Now we're going to do it reverse. We're going to pour this into there. Okay. Okay. So you're going to help me do that? No, I'm not sure. Okay. No. That's so chunky. Now I'm going to give you a spoon, and can you gently spread that over the top of that? Yeah, there you go. It's like, it's 
like um it's like we we accidentally put it a color color in the wrong in the wrong spot wrong spot and we're putting another color over it. <laughs> Because we're putting something over yeah. to cope. What what school skills did we did we use while we were doing this? How to um put stuff over stuff. Right. So the first thing we did was to do what? We poured that. We read the directions, didn't we? Yeah. So we had to use our reading skills, right? And then, after we used our reading skills, then what did we do? Did we count? Yes. So we used our math skills, right? And then we just used our common sense, right? We were like, okay, we have the vanilla wafers, we have the bananas, what else do we need to make banana pudding? And we figured out we needed the bananas. puddings. Yeah, okay. Good job. Here, let me get a picture of us real quick with this. Alright, friends, so here is Jeffrey's banana pudding, and here is Grandma Kim's banana pudding, and we had a lot of fun doing this together, didn't we? And you did a super job making your own all by yourself, and we used reading skills and math skills and common sense skills, and we had a lot of fun while we were doing that. And I even got to use I'm going to use this, and for the first, first time, I'm so happy that I, that, well, on my first time, time that I did it, now this is at my house. Yeah. And my, and my mom's one was pulling my arms. <laughs> so you yes. got to use grandma's mixer, didn't you? Yeah, and All it right. was much better. All right, so we're going to say bye now. Can you say bye, bye. to my friends? Bye. All right, friends. Bye. If you like this video, be sure and give us a, what are they going to do when they, thumbs up, a thumbs up, and to subscribe, and subscribe, alright, talk to y'all later, bye for now, bye for, watch. <laughs>